Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here. We've been comparing the King James Version with the ESV, and I've done a review on this ESV Bible. I really like how Crossway set it up, actually. And so we're just going to look at a few verses, and we're going to just see some maybe some words that are missing in the ESV that have traditionally been in the King James Version. And now some of these I didn't pre-check, so we're just going to go through our little if the uh, foundations be destroyed book. So let's go to Matthew 16 20 this is not entire verse you know there's entire verses missing out of the ESV many entire phrases about 33,000 words but these are just some words and we're gonna start with like Jesus the term Jesus so Matthew 16 20 it may be in here let's see then he strictly charged the disciples to tell no one that he was the Christ so let's look at 16 20 here in the King James Version and it says, Then charged he his disciples that they should tell no one that he was Jesus the Christ. And the name Jesus is very important. There's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. They believed in his name, book of John, name of Jesus is Jehovah's salvation. It indicates he's God. So, you know, that's, that's a pretty big thing there. So let's go to one of the most popular passages in the Bible. As a matter of fact, I think Google has said this is the most popular search for Scripture is Philippians 4.13. So let's go to Philippians 4.13. Most everybody here could quote that, say that. Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13 says this, I can do all things to Christ which strengtheneth me. Now let's see what it says here, 413 in our ESV says, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Kind of does the first Timothy 316 thing. Now I realize a lot of people get on me, they say, now for real scholarship, you would have to get a, a manuscript book and see what manuscript evidence is there for him, what is there for Christ, weigh the manuscripts and all that. Now I understand all that. And I've got the apparatuses to do that by and large. What it is, oh, and that's whole other videos, you know, I make a couple, three videos a day, maybe sometimes just one, sometimes four or five, it, and I don't make them every day, we, we schedule them on the uh, website, I mean on the YouTube channel and other places, but um, so um, that's a whole nother discussion. And so I would just say, after having done those studies over the course of many years, that the manuscript bases coming not just from Hebrew and Greek, but from many other languages as well around the world, that the King James, the manuscripts underlying the King James would be the what you should use to translate Bibles around the world. And so that's, I, I would say then the hymn would just not be justified there. But, and really what we're doing in this series of videos, we did a, a, several videos, a dozen or so on the CSB, the Christian Standard Bible. We're doing them on the ESV, the MEV, the uh, NASB is just really saying, because I hear this a lot, well, the new translations are just easier to read. They don't change doctrine and stuff. We're just really examining to see if that's really the truth. So let's go to 1 Timothy 2, 7, 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 7. And we're just doing some basic things here. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse number 7. And... Uh, Paul says this, whereunto I'm ordained a preacher and an apostle, I speak the truth in Christ and lie not. 1 Timothy 2 7 in the ESV, and you can follow along. And uh, the ESV has had 56 updates recently. Maybe they updated a few of these back. I don't think so. Um, For this I was appointed a preacher and an apostle. I am telling the truth and am not lying. Okay, and then it goes on to say, so I speak the truth in Christ. So it takes out in Christ, speaking the truth in Christ. So obviously leaves out a huge amount of force of command. So let's go to 2 John 2.9, 2 John 2.9. And I do want to say, a lot of people accuse me of being King James only. And, uh, you know, I may do a video on defining that term because I believe people 
have Bibles in many languages. People say, well, God is obligated to give it in every language. Well, no, he's not. In the Old Testament, he didn't even start till the 1500 BCs, and then it was just in Hebrew or Paleo Hebrew. So that's just patently not true. Okay, because there's still many languages that don't have Bibles. So, you know, um, but you would have to take the merits of the King James versus the Spanish Bible versus the Cambodian Bible versus the Luther Bible and all of that. And, uh, and I, I wouldn't be being xenophobic. I, I'm just saying what are the evidences. There's many people like in Singapore, Philippines, other languages. We just got an email from somebody in the Philippines, a King James Bible believer, and we need this. There's many people in many languages that acknowledge that just where the King James came from, that it is God's preserved word in this generation. And uh, where was the King James Bible before 1611? All over the world in various languages. We'll talk about that another time. So 2 John 9. 2 John 9. It says, Everyone who goes on ahead and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. So whoever abides in the teaching hath both the Father and the Son. Let's see here what it would say in the King James. In the King James, it would say, Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth not in the doctrine of Christ. Uh, he, excuse me. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. So you can see of Christ is missing there. Um... Let's go to 1 Corinthians 15, 47. Very important on the identity of Jesus Christ, the deity of Jesus Christ, the oneness of God. So 1 Corinthians 15, 47 says this. 1 Corinthians 15, 47 says the first man is of the earth earthy the second man is the lord from heaven you don't get much more oneness than that the second man is jehovah from heaven yeah that's true okay so 1547 in our esv says the first man was from the earth a man of dust the second man is from heaven so is that teaching divine flesh, the second man is from No, he's the Lord from heaven. Takes out the Lord. These are just a few examples of changes that are material and that are doctrinal and that are important. And the Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Luke 4, 4. Unless you've got a new translation, then it's missing uh, the last part of that verse. I love you. Just pray. Let the Holy Ghost guide and lead you in all truth. It's going to lead you to the King James Version of the Bible. I'm sure of that. If you'll let it. God bless you. Go with it. No preconceived biases. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.